Oh my god, $65. I think this is gonna be the best price I can get. Now listed up for sale. Let's go. So I have my artwork. How do I list it and mint it as an NFT on the blockchain network? My brother and I are working on our own NFT collection. So we were wondering the same thing. And after doing research, I found that the most popular platforms are OpenSea, Rarible, and Mintable. But there are other platforms like Nifty Gateway, Super Rare, and Foundation. The main difference is that in these marketplaces, you actually have to get approved or be invited to sell. Kind of like VIP. We ended up going with OpenSea, so this video is a tutorial. So I'm going to go over step by step what I did to mint that NFT, how I set up a wallet on OpenSea, what the fees are, what the gas fees are, and things to look out for. So if you're worried about the cost, OpenSea has released an update recently where they're no longer charging people an Ethereum gas fee in order to list an NFT on the marketplace. However, they are charging a gas fee in order to initially set up that wallet with OpenSea. And if you sell your NFT, they will also charge you, which I'll explain after. So the first thing we're going to do is to create an account on OpenSea, which is free. So make sure that the URL says OpenSea.io, but you do need to have a digital wallet. A perfect example would be MetaMask. To download MetaMask, go to MetaMask.io. So this is a digital wallet that will connect you with decentralized apps on the blockchain. Now, after you create the wallet, you're going to have to somehow fund that wallet with Ethereum, which is what we're going to use in order to mint our NFT on the blockchain. So you have two options. You can purchase it directly on MetaMask or you can purchase Ethereum on a different exchange and then send it over to your MetaMask wallet. So after you've connected your MetaMask wallet to OpenSea, you're ready to customize your profile. So make sure to update your profile, make it look nice and professional. Then I clicked here and created a collection. It's also free. A collection is like an album. So most successful projects are usually part of a collection like the Bored Apes, CryptoPunks, and the Justin Aversano Twins collection. So when creating a collection, add as much info as you can, a nice photo, title, description. So for category, it all depends on what you're posting. I'm posting a photograph, so I'm going to choose art. So royalties are payments that you, the artist, will receive even after you've sold it. So every time it's sold here and there, you will receive a percentage to you. So the most that you can do on OpenSea is 10%, which is what I'm writing. Also, in order to grab that payment address from MetaMask, all you have to do is open up the web extension on the top right and then click copy and then paste it exactly. Then after creating your collection, now you can add items to that collection. So now you can add the photos, the digital art. So this is also free and it's a very similar process. Click on create on the top right, upload the image, write a title and description for that image, then hit create, you creator you. After it's created, it's now part of your open C, but we now we have to list it up for sale. So click on sale and now you have two options. You can sell it at a fixed price or you can sell it as an auction. So there is a fee of 2.5% that goes to OpenSea for their service and for them having the marketplace. If you decide to do an auction, the fees are the same and you can also add a reserved price. So there is one thing that I wanted to add. So there are gas fees when the item is sold and who pays the fees? Well, it depends on the transaction. So buyers pay the gas fees when purchasing fixed price items. However, sellers pay the gas when accepting offers. Complete the listing and then you'll have this pop up. So this is the part where you actually have to pay a gas fee for setting up the wallet with OpenSea. It's a one time fee. And what is the fee? Oh, $120 about. So that's a lot. I'll just come back later. $912. I don't know how that is possible. So whenever you do transactions on the Ethereum network, you have to pay a gas fee. And usually these are pretty high. So in order to get the best prices, you need to check out this website called gasnow.org. So this website tracks what the gas prices are over time. Gwei is the unit. The lower the Gwei is, the lower the gas price is going to be. The higher the Gwei, the higher the gas price is going to be. A good way would probably be 60 or less. And so what I did is I waited until the night came. It was 47 Gwei. So that's a pretty slow time. 
if we go down to the average prices for today so earlier earlier probably when it said 900 dollars, the guay was probably here at 145 which is insane but and we saw that usually at the end of the day around nighttime here in the united states the guay is usually uh much lower the guay is usually much lower so oh my god 65 dollars. i think this is going to be the best price i can get so okay i'm initializing the wallet so accept the signature request in your wallet and wait for your listing to process so i'm going to have to sign this uh i'm signing i signed it and my item is now listed up for sale let's go so i hope this tutorial has helped you better understand nfts and how to mid one on OpenSea. As always, like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Let's get to creating.